All right, so the first time that I heard this one, it was from a guy named Chuck Missler, and he's passed away now. Um, I like some of his stuff, but this is one of the things that I learned from him. And the thing that I didn't learn from anybody is the connection that we're going to make after this. So according to the book of Genesis, the first 10 names listed in the lineage from Adam to Noah are Adam. Now, it's going to give you the definitions of the first 10 names of the lineage, okay? And what God did and what God does is he leaves you mysteries in the meanings of the names. He tells you things, okay? So the first 10 names of the Bible mean this. Man appointed mortal sorrow, the blessed God shall come down, teaching his death shall bring the despairing rest or comfort. Obviously talking about Jesus there, right there in the book of Genesis with the first 10 names of the Bible, which are Adam, Seth, Enosh, Kenan, Mahalel, Jared, Enoch, Methuselah, Lamech, and Noah. Okay, so that's what God did. And that's um, one of God's ways. Now, what I wanted to point out is that the powers that be do the exact same thing. Now, it's not exact because Lucifer said, I'll be like the Most High, but he uh the god said that he his wisdom was corrupted so what we're looking we're going to look at is uh, what god did here in genesis with the names and the meanings and how he told a story uh they are telling a story too through the names of the people that we see the icons that are in the spotlight and i've shown this before but i'm just going to go over it real quick so you have barack obama which means uh flash of lightning right from heaven and then you have Michelle, which he calls Michael all the time. Remember, he always calls her Michael on accident or so-called. It's not accident. Like I said, they're, they're telling you on purpose. So Michael kicks Lucifer out of heaven and he falls like lightning. And so you have Barack Obama and Michael. And then you have Trump, right? And the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 15, at the last Trump, in a twinkle of an eye, we shall all be changed, right? And then you have this guy, Noah Harari, uh, talking about uh, hacking people, just like the Bible says it will be as the days of Noah, right? Uh, you have Elon, Elon Musk, which Elon is a Hittite in the book of Joshua. Uh, when uh, Joshua defeated these tribes, uh, one of the characters was called Elon. And Joshua is a picture of Jesus in the last days. And the word Joshua actually means Jesus. And the super, super crazy thing about this is that where Joshua, which is a picture of Jesus, defeated the Hittites, which Elon was a Hittite in the book of Joshua, was named A.I. Y'all get that? A.I. And so they are doing exactly the same thing. The same pattern that God used, uh, the way that he did things, um, they are doing the same things. And the very interesting thing is that the Bible says this is Lucifer's ways because Lucifer is the one who said, I'll be like the most high. And if they're doing exactly what God is doing, but it's corrupted, who are they following? What pattern are they following? They're trying to be like the most high. Well, they're following Lucifer's pattern. Because he's being like the Most High and they're being like the Most High. And the scary thing about it is that it says that Lucifer's wisdom was corrupted. So while there's a bunch of truth in what they believe and what they're doing, it's corrupted. And we know this. We, we, we can tell, right? Now we see the creation of a new massive class of useless people. As computers become better and better in more and more fields, there is a distinct possibility that computers will outperform us in most tasks and will make humans redundant. And then the big political and economic question of the 21st century will be, what do we need humans for? Or at least, what do we need so many humans for? Do you have an answer in the book? Um, at present, the best guess we have is uh, keep them happy with drugs and computer games. So what I wanted to show you guys is that the people who run the world are very biblical. 
except the position that they are taking is the Luciferian position because they are trying to be like the Most High and copying the ways that he works by, you know, telling these stories and the names of the characters and many other ways. But just like Lucifer, their wisdom is corrupted and they've got the majority of people fooled because the majority of people don't see things like this because they don't have the eyes to see and the ears to hear. The book of Ecclesiastes tells us straight up, there is nothing new under the sun. What was done will be done again. That is another very, very potent verse for what we see going on today, is that everything is being done again. What got the earth flooded in the days of Noah is being done again. They are messing with, they are crossing boundaries that God does not want crossed with this technology, with this artificial intelligence. They are messing with man's genetics and they are messing with the natural order of things and the natural order in creation, in DNA, in all of it. And again, remember exactly what they're doing and what they've been doing is exactly what got the earth flooded in the days of Noah. And Jesus said it will be like the days of Noah. And not only that, but the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. We can also see that too.